There's a lot of pressure on new people getting into web development and software engineering in general. I get it. You go on social media and you see people giving testimonies of how they went from zero to a hero in six months. While it's possible, the percentage is incredibly low. So I took some time to speak with some engineers on what was it like between learning and getting their first job. And here's what they have to say. The concept of getting into tech and growing six months, I don't I think it's a myth actually. Or maybe something that maybe it's not what I do share, but for software development I think it's not possible because six months into this I don't I have no idea what I'm doing. I still don't have any idea what I'm doing over after over three go to three years now. So I don't think the whole idea that yeah, I jump on tech and six months and start, I started making money outside uh, for me tech bro tech taxes we are just looking most of the people we look at on t on social media that that's the product of years and years of work and consistency as you have heard it's incredibly easy or maybe not well that's why i'm making this video in this video i'll be sharing tips with you to stay sane as you navigate the murky waters of web development if it's your first time on the channel kindly subscribe so that you get to know when we drop new videos let's get into it number one HTML and CSS is not easy. They only have a simple syntax. Think about it. How long did it take you to learn HTML? An hour? A day? Or a week maybe? What of CSS? Maybe a day, a week, or even a month. But after you were done learning that, HTML is how you create the structure of a website using tags, or and CSS is what you use to make it look good by using selectors and throwing things in it. My first question to you is this. How many HTML tags do you actually know beyond the popular ones such as the paragraph tag, the head tag, the heading tags, and so on and so forth? Even if you know more than the HTML tags that I have mentioned, another question to you is this is, with the basic knowledge that you learned over the few weeks that you learned HTML and CSS, are you actually able to build a full-fledged website from scratch without referring to a more detailed resources or a YouTube video? I hope you get it now. Because something that has a simple set tags does not necessarily make it easy especially when you want to build live project. On to the next one. Number two, JavaScript is not hard. The frustration for most people begin when they start to learn JavaScript. And here's the problem. They come in rushing to JavaScript with the same energy that they used to learn HTML and CSS. But unfortunately, JavaScript is a full-fledged programming language. And what that means is there is a lot of things that you need to know creating variables, functions, the way objects work, the document object model, there's so much to learn. And unlike HTML and CSS whereby you can just get away with things, for example, you can literally build a website using only this and you'll be able to get away with it. In JavaScript, that cannot happen because if you are supposed to be using a variable and you are using a function for something, it's not going to work, it's not going to give you the desired result and that's where the frustration begins for a lot of people. So my advice to you is just to calm down, take a chill pill to understand the basics of JavaScript and you discover that down the line, your learning will be easier. Number three, this is a profession and not a hobby. Think about it, if you want to become a medical doctor or say a lawyer or maybe even an accountant, can you achieve that in six months? Definitely not possible. So why then do you want to become a software engineer in six months? Like I mentioned earlier when I was talking about JavaScript, there is a whole lot of things that you need to learn as a software engineer. Things about version control, sometimes about the command line, the way servers work. There's just so much to learn that you can't cram all of that into six months. Yeah, I'm aware that there are boot camps where they teach you all of the fundamentals about these things, but many a times they don't go deep enough for you to even be able to what, apply for junior roles or even internship roles, which is why I'll be sharing some resources to help you learn JavaScript and even software engineering the right way. If you've made it so far in this video and you found those tips helpful, do not forget to subscribe and share this video with somebody who is just picking up web development or software engineering in general that will find these tips helpful. Now, let's talk about those resources. The first one is Free Code Camp. Before I talk about Free Code Camp, let me tell you a little story. Sometime in 2020, I applied to a company as a front-end engineer. They sent me a take-home assessment, which I killed, and I was given a live coding interview. I was asked to solve a very small JavaScript problem, and I failed terribly. Then I realized that there were certain things that I thought I knew about JavaScript that I didn't know. And that's the situation for a lot of people. You think that you know these things, but you don't. So what I did was I started grinding free code camp for six months for an hour every single day. And I was able to increase my confidence and also my knowledge about the language that I was able to learn the current role that I am in right now. So free code camp has a very interactive interface where they show you concepts about JavaScript, HTML, and even CSS, right? And you have many tasks that are being assigned to you. And the best part is that you even have an IDE or 
a text editor where you can write the code directly in your browser and you do not necessarily have to like set things up locally and that's not even the best part free code camp is absolutely free so go sign up on www.freecodecamp.org today the second one is Screenbar. Screenbar is very similar to free code camp in the way it works in that you have an IDE integrated in your browser as well then you have the lessons and you have many tasks assigned to you the only difference is that instead of the lessons coming as text the lessons actually come in form of videos the other difference between free code camp and Screenbar is the fact that Screenbar is not totally free even though the beginner courses are free for you to access some advanced courses you just have to pick a token of about five dollars which in my opinion is relatively cheap compared to the value that you'll be getting from the platform Number three, the Odin project. I've mostly heard about the Odin project on Reddit and I've looked through their curriculum and it's very comprehensive. In fact, they have a whole session dedicated to getting hired. The only difference between the Odin project and Free Code Camp and Screenback is the fact that the Odin project does not have an IDE in the platform. That's it guys. I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. If you know anyone just getting started in the world of web development and software engineering in general that you think might find this video helpful, please share with them. If it's your first time on the channel, kindly like and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to build like a boss. Cheers!